When good friends are drinking Miller Lite, they just know when it's time to go home for one more round. Miller Lite, hold true. And fine, scrambling to his right and looking and steps up and fires one deep, has a man caught. Touchdown. Not that Mason's going to be to quarterbacks what Joe Green is to defensive linemen, but I think you can make the argument that Seth and Mason will be as tied together in history as Otis Mitchell and Joe Green. How did he catch it? Touchdown! If there was a Mount Rushmore of rebirth and renaissance of North Texas football, I don't know who the four would be, but I know who two of them would be, and it's uh, it's certainly those two. I mean, you, you look back at uh, Mason's first year. And Seth's first recruiting class, I remember looking down the list and seeing their high school statistics, and I'd never heard of Mason Fine, nor had probably anybody in the state of Texas. But I saw those numbers. Best in the history of Oklahoma high school football, two-time player of the year. Wow, how did we get him? I saw that he was listed at 5'10", and I thought, okay, well, that's why he's not going to Stillwater or Norman. You know, initially our thoughts were we had a senior quarterback. Um, you know, we had an opportunity to hopefully get him redshirted and have him on the back end for another year. That's what they told me. They like, hey, we're going to redshirt you. You're going to gain 20, 25 pounds, focus on the weight room, and then uh, get ready for the, the, you know, the couple of years down the road. This kid's got something that, you know, we haven't seen in a while, and um, we just kept on giving him more reps and reps during the summer. Obviously, at the time, I wasn't, I wasn't going to be, you know, a backup plan. I was competing every day to be the, the starter. Next time I had a chance to get any kind of feel at all for what Mason Fine was, was preseason scrimmage. You don't see that from a true freshman, especially one that comes from a small school, uh, probably didn't run the same offense. Talked to Seth on the field after the game, and I said, it's gonna be hard to redshirt Mason Fine, isn't it? And I don't remember anything Seth said. All I remember is the smile that got plastered all over his face. He knew what he had and that the rest of the country had missed on. Going into SMU week, we, you know, obviously had a starter. And Alec Morris, who's a guy from Allen, had gone to Alabama, you know, worthy of being recruited by Nick Saban. He's going to come in here and uh, have finally one entire season for him to play and start. You know, I found out that week, just a week before the SMU game, that I was listed as the uh, the backup. I was competing against a lot of other great quarterbacks to, to for that 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 position. I felt like uh, you know Alec was going to be a good player, but at the same time, I knew Mason Fine could bring a spark. And the opener did not go well, and I was just at a point to where there was nothing for us to lose. We didn't have the four game rule to where um, you could play and, and still redshirt. So. Seth, the second half, went up to Mason and said, you ready to burn your red shirt? And so much for the concept of red shirting Mason Fine. You know, I was never really expecting to go in just because, you know, how the game was going. I just thought they, they would roll with, you know, Alec the whole game. But I was prepared to go in. I, I you know, prepared that week like I was a starter. Got a grin on his face, and he, he was so juiced up uh, when, you know, when he called that first play in the huddle. Went to the huddle, obviously I was nervous, but it was, I still remember looking at Jeffrey Wilson, and Jeffrey Wilson get, just gave me the biggest smile. He said, time to do this, young pup, and he, he really believed in me and supported me. He said, hey man, we got you. Took the field and looked exactly as he did in that preseason scrimmage, like this was not hard at all. Immediately led them down the field like he was the graduate transfer and not the true freshman. It was, it was a great uh, memory I'll always have, watching him call his first play and move right down the field and score a touchdown on his first drive. So uh, it was a special moment. And then, you know, it's been history ever since. The rest is history. By that decision, I think that changed the course of, you know, UNT football history these last four years and it's turned out for the best. We can go back and wonder forever, well, what if he hadn't immediately led a touchdown drive against SMU? Maybe Alec Morris has started him next week, maybe he gets things together. Who knows how 2016 season would have ended, but that's not how it worked out. I think it's a tribute to Mason and really something for all of us to think about in life. Like, Mason couldn't control uh, when the opportunity came. 
He was not in control of that. Couldn't control um, how Alec played, how the team played, um, when he would finally get in there. The only thing that Mason could control uh, was that he was ready for that opportunity. Really, almost on day one, Mason showed what Seth knew, and that was that he could recognize a football player. All the recruiting nonsense uh, means a lot less than what you actually see on the field and uh, on video, and Seth proved to the world that um, you know his football judgment is superior to, in this case, everybody else in the country. From what I have, you know, observed from afar is they really grew together in this thing, and um, they probably owe each other a little bit of each other's success. And I think that that is such a unique and admirable, th you know, thing to see out of a quarterback and a head coach because Coach Latrell gave uh, Mason Fine a chance that no one else was willing to give him, and then he puts him in the in the in the spotlight as a true freshman, and then the gosh dang the guy blows up. <laughs> But the fact that they both came here at the same time, the fact that they're both from Northeast Oklahoma, the fact that Seth was getting his first chance, Mason was getting a chance uh, because of Seth, I think all those things really have helped them kind of work in tandem together. Together, they immediately gave the program credibility coming off a one-win season. Uh, I thought coming into Seth's first year, if he won four games, he should have been national coach of the year. I thought that was actually shooting a little too high based on what he inherited. Well, he won five games, almost won the heart of Dallas Bowl. Uh, nine wins next year, nine wins, including blowing out Arkansas on the road the following year. Trace all that back to his ability to discover the ultimate diamond in the rough. They've certainly grown together. Both of them have become, uh, in my estimation, two of the very best in the country at what they do. Coach the trails jabbing him, giving him a hard time about, you know, all kinds of different stuff, and Mason gives it right back, you know, and I, uh, he's, I wasn't going to get in the way of that one. Those guys are tight, and I, I love it. Will be in my life forever, I hope. I think he's somebody I really respect, not only as a player, but more importantly as a person. Ah, uh, he, he's probably one of the biggest impact uh, people in my life since I've been down here. Just. Uh, and as a role model and as a coach, uh, him developing me, him giving me not just uh, you know quarterback tools to be successful on the field, but a lot of off the field stuff too that a lot of people don't see. Along the way, uh, we had some great wins. Uh, we had some tough losses, uh, but we learned a lot together. I've been doing this for 20 years, and I every single time that I get to step out there, every game, uh, watch those two, and especially Mason, because he, he, it, we know how many he has left. You know, Coach Luttrell, we don't know that number. Um, but uh, I cherish him. And I encourage people to not miss out on opportunities to see him play and, and also to see Coach Luttrell here and to see those two guys together. friends are drinking Miller Lite, they just know when it's time to go home for one more round. Miller Lite, hold true.